So this is what it looks like. It's not round, it's oblong, but that's fine. This is what we have. A sweet pulled king oyster mushrooms on our own wood fire hand stretched sourdough. And again, it's vegan, it's the wicked brand. Now, I've never before in my life had a vegan pizza. And I'd like to say that since I've been trying to be more vegan, I haven't eaten pizza, but that would be a lie. One thing I will say about this pizza from this wicked brand is you buy them from the fridge section, but on the back, the storage instructions are keep refrigerated, suitable for home freezing. And then what it does also, it has two different cooking instructions, one from chilled and one from frozen. So it's actually pretty good because you get it from the fridge section, you can freeze it and then you can cook it straight from frozen which is fairly rare. I assume it's because there's no meat to worry about on it, but pretty rare, pretty good. So, so far, so good. Of course, I did not pay full price for this. It was supposed to be four pounds and I paid two pounds 56 for it. Not a steal, there was more than one. There was about five or six of them on the reduced counter when I was there. And had they been under two pounds, maybe one pound 56, I would have bought them all but it wasn't quite cheap enough for me to go all in. Let's give it a go. Wow, actually, before I even take a bite, the mushrooms have been done in such a way that they actually look, it actually looks like chicken. It actually looks like chicken, I can't believe it. Vegan pizza, here we go. <laughs> Sorry. Do you know what? That's flavor. That's all the flavour. Oh look. You know it must be a good vegan sub when the cat's interested. Does that smell good, puss? Hey? <laughs> she wants some. That's nice. Question I'm asking myself is am I missing the cheese? Because I do I do love cheese. Let me eat some more. I need to eat more and find out. Is there cheese on this? Oh, it's a cauliflower sauce. I suppose that's supposed to be in lieu of the cheese. Right. I've nearly eaten a quarter of it and it's time to make a summary. Flavour-wise, absolutely full of flavour. No complaints there. Substitute for a pizza. Yep. Texture, crunchiness aftertaste it's all very very good my only question is whether a sprinkling of melted vegan cheese would go a long way to tricking the mind that bit more for me it just seems a little strange to have a pizza without anything that even resembles cheese on it but it is really nice does it matter that there's no cheese? Do you know? I don't think it does matter that there's no cheese. If someone was sat next to me eating a normal, a normal pizza with cheese, I don't think I'd feel hard done to because the flavor in this is just phenomenal. I mean, actually it's, <laughs> I think I just got a bit of chilli. I was a really spicy mouthful and actually the rest of this quarter that I've been eating hasn't been that spicy but that mouthful was. I mean good spicy. But I don't think I'd feel shortchanged actually. If somebody else was sat next to me eating a normal pizza and I had this, I wouldn't necessarily be sat there kind of wishing I could eat theirs. Because this is just yummy. It's good. But I have to say, Wicked, again, I'm sorry. I wouldn't pay four pounds for it. I mean, I know I'm stingy with food because I'm used to paying so little for my food because I shop so carefully. But I wouldn't pay four pounds for it. I just can't, in all honesty, I can't get my head round why the Wicked Kitchen brand is so expensive. 
what is on this pizza that warrants the four pound price tag? I don't know. I would have thought that veggie and vegan food should be cheaper than the meat alternatives. Boggles my brain. I mean, I guess it's because it's so new. There isn't such a big market out there for it, so they can't make it on such a big scale. Hopefully, as more and more people buy these products, the price will come down. That's the only reason I can possibly think of, is they can't make it on a big enough scale to compete with the Tesco-branded pizzas where they probably make it by the tens of millions or something. In summary, Wicked Kitchen, thank you for making a vegan pizza. It is full of flavour, really tasty, and I think people should go out and buy it if they're vegan and they want to have pizza. But I do think that in general, it's quite an expensive brand. I was going to say it was expensive for what it is, but actually the flavour is there. They do know what they're doing and you do get quality if you buy this brand, but it is expensive. It's a fairly small pizza for a fairly large price tag. I would buy it again. I wouldn't buy it at £4 unless it was a, a treat or something. But to be honest, I'm not fully vegan, so if I was going to have a treat I probably wouldn't go for a vegan pizza. But I'm trying to get better with that. So if you're vegan and you wanted to treat, it's good. It's great, in fact. Actually, it says here, this is mild. I don't know if they have like a, a zero chili rating or not, but if this is their lowest rating, wow, so easy. If you're not too good on spice, don't go above a one chili. Because every now and again you get a, a bite that knocks your socks off. Right, this concludes my barbecue mushroom sourdough pizza review. There are other flavours of pizzas and I may well explore those at some point and work my way through them as and when I find them on the reduced counter. As always, thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed this review, subscribe below. I'll be doing lots more and we'll be continuing to work my way through the Wicked Kitchen brand. See you soon. Thank you. Thank you.